Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jyotender and I do lead code questions on YouTube. So if you're into that stuff, be sure to check out my channel. Right, so today we are looking at this problem that is called reduce array size to the half. Uh, the problem says that given an array, you can choose a set of integers and remove all the occurrences of these integers in the array. And you have to return the minimum size of the set so that at least half of the integers of the array are removed. So all that the problem really is asking you to do is that you're given an array. You need to pick the minimum number of unique elements such that if you remove all the occurrences of those elements from the array, you end up removing at least half of the elements of the array, right? So for example, they've given us a few examples here. So let's look at the first one. You have an array with 10 elements, which are four threes, three fives, two twos, and one seven. And you need to find the minimum size of the set of unique elements such that when you remove all their occurrences, you end up with, end up removing at least half of these elements. So this is essentially a problem that is asking us to optimize the process of reducing the size of the array so that we remove the minimum number of elements, minimum number of unique elements, but end up removing the maximum number of occurrences, right? So this is like a greedy approach. This is like a typical greedy problem. You start picking off elements that have the highest frequency because that way you are removing the number of maximum number of occurrences at once, right? So if you look at this example, you have four threes, you have three fives, you have two twos, and you have one seven. You need to remove the minimum size of the set, right? So they've already told us that the possible sets of size two are 3,5 because if you remove 3,5 you end up removing 7 elements which is obviously greater than half the elements which is acceptable. Then you have 3,2 which is essentially 4 elements plus 2 elements which is 6 total elements which is again greater than half the size of the array which is 5 right because the array size is 10 so half of it is 5. And if you remove 5,2 you end up removing 5 elements which is again equal to half the number of elements in the original array. So all of these are valid answers but we'll be following a greedy approach. So we'll be removing the most number of occurrences in the minimum number of elements. And we'll see that it's a pretty simple approach. All you need to do is get the frequency of each of these elements, right? So we'll get the frequency of all the elements and we'll see that three occurs four times, five occurs three times, two occurs two times, and seven occurs one time. Now, you'll say that you need to reduce the size of the array as fast as possible. Like you need to remove the minimum number of elements, but you need to reduce the size of the array as fast as possible, right? So you pick the elements with the highest frequency, just like a typical greedy approach. You pick the elements with the highest frequency and you keep picking these elements until the size of the set of the occurrences of your elements is at least half the size of the original array, right? So let's see how we'll do that. We know that whenever we need to keep track of frequencies of elements in, let's say, an array, it's always a good idea to use a hash map because it has O of 1 insertions and it has O of 1 lookups, right? So the first thing that we'll be doing is finding the frequency of each of these elements. After that, we need to start picking off the frequencies with the highest amplitude or the highest magnitude, right? So you start picking off the frequencies starting from the largest going towards the smallest. So a good way to do this is to use a heap. We'll use, we'll get all those frequencies and we'll insert all of them into a heap. Then we'll start picking off all those frequencies from the top of the heap because we're using a max heap. The frequency at the top will be the one which is the largest in the size, right? Which is the largest in magnitude. So we'll start picking off these elements and we'll keep, keep picking off all these elements until we have exceeded at least half the size of the array. So we start off by declaring an unordered map. Unordered maps are how hash maps are implemented in C++. So we, let's just declare one of them, so unordered map. We'll define an integer to integer mapping because we're mapping the array elements to their integer frequencies, right? So we'll call this frequency. Now I'll start by iterating through the entire array and I'll start incrementing each of the frequencies of each of these elements as I encounter them. So I'll define a for loop for int i equal to zero while i is smaller than arr dot size plus plus i and let's in, uh, just increment the frequency of each of these elements. So frequency of ARR of I plus plus. So this will simply create a frequency map. Now 
we need to insert all of these frequencies into the heap. Heaps are implemented as priority queues in C++. So let's just do that. Priority queue. This by default will form a max heap, which is what we really want. So we'll just define an integer max heap. We'll call it PQ. Now we'll start by iterating through all the elements of the unordered map, right? So we'll just run an auto iterator and I'll just call it iter and we'll iterate through the frequencies. Now we know that the frequency is a pair of two numbers. The first number defining the element itself and the second number defining the frequency. We just need the frequency. We just need to insert the frequencies. We don't need to remember which elements frequency they were. We just need to keep track of the size of each of these frequencies because in the output, you just need to return the total size of the set, right? We don't, you don't need to re return the actual elements in that set. You just need to return the size of the set. So you can actually suffice by simply getting the frequencies from the unordered map and inserting them into the priority queue. So I'll just use pq.push to insert an element and I'll push in each of these frequencies. So iter dot second because frequency is the second element of the pair, right? So once you've done that, you have a, a heap, a max heap of all the frequencies. So now we need to run a while loop. We'll run the while loop until the number of total occurrences removed exceeds at least half the size of the integer array, right? So for that, we need to keep track of the number of elements removed and the total size of the set that we have right now. So we'll write int count. This will keep track of the number of occurrences removed and we'll keep a variable called res, which will keep track of the number of unique elements removed, right? So while count is smaller than arr.size by two, while it's smaller, we'll keep iterating. What we'll do is we'll write count equal to pq dot top because this will be the highest frequency in this priority queue at that time because it's a max heap so we store that in the count or we actually do a plus equal to because you want to write count equal to the current count plus this top element right so we have to do a plus equal to or you can simply write this as count plus if you're not familiar with that right now if we just remove this from the priority queue and we just do pq dot top and we do a res plus plus because we just removed one element from one unique element from the array. Count is the total number of occurrences and res is the number of unique elements, right? So we just increment res by one and we increment count by the number of frequencies, right? So this will run until the count exceeds the at least half of the array size. So once that is done, all that you really need to do is return the result because that will be the number of uh, elements in the set. A set only has unique elements as we already know, right? So this should work. Let's submit that. And we have five, six, eight milliseconds. That is fine. Right. So this is how you solve this problem. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content. And I will see you in the next video.